Hey guys, DC Network here, coming at you with another video. So in 2013, Cartoon Network released a video on their YouTube channel that was about the next generation of animation. Basically, it was a behind the scenes video of the animation at Cartoon Network. Now, a couple of interesting things are mentioned in the beginning of this video. A quick side note that if you guys want to see this video, I will have a link in the description below to the original video. But anyways, a couple of interesting points are brought up in the beginning of this video. One of which is brought up by Ian Jones Cordy and Rebecca Sugar, who both work on Steven Universe, and Ian Jones Cordy now has OKKO also on Cartoon Network. But what they say is that Cartoon Network gives them a lot of freedom that they can't seem to find anywhere else. Now what they mean by this is that Cartoon Network allows them to do creative freedom, meaning that it allows them to do whatever they want with the show. And I remember a couple days ago I saw a comment on one of my videos saying that Disney gives a lot more freedom than Cartoon Network. And actually that's not the case. As they said before, Cartoon Network gives them more freedom that they can't find anywhere else. But I remember instances where Alex Hirsch, the creator of Gravity Falls, had some problems with Disney trying to get certain aspects or themes onto episodes of Gravity Falls. And he said that he used to fight with Disney in order to get some of the stuff he wanted onto his show. And he actually said that Disney said, if you don't take it out of the show, we will take it out of the show and make this episode a shorter episode. So yeah, Cartoon Network gives a lot more freedom than Disney does. But anyways, Cartoon Network gives freedom. Is this still the case today? Because yes, this video was made four years ago. So is that still the case today? And I would say for the most part that, yeah, they do give a good amount of freedom. You know, because a lot of the themes we see in shows like Steven Universe... We wouldn't see if it was on Disney Channel or if it was on Nickelodeon. So they do still give a lot of freedom. But is it as good as it used to be? Meaning, like, back in the day, we used to have all these different shows like Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy or Courage the Cowardly Dog. Like, I can never picture those two shows being on Cartoon Network right now. So I don't know if it's as good as it used to be, but they still have the most freedom out of any network right now. Now, another thing that was brought up in the video by J.G. Quintel, the creator of Regular Show, is that... Cartoon Network is not trying to look at what was successful in the past and repeat it. They're trying to look for cool things that have never been done before. Now, what happened to this? Because this is the one thing that I would say is no longer true with Cartoon Network. Because if you look at Cartoon Network in 2013, they have a bunch of new original series coming in, and they have all these new shows that they're pretty different from what they've had in the past for the most part. And then now you look at them today, we got the Powerpuff Girls reboot, Teen Titans Go!, Ben 10 Reboot, all things that have happened in the past, no new really original ideas that have been coming out of Cartoon Network lately, there are a couple like OKKO OK and I guess Mighty Magisaurs too, but I mean, there haven't really been these shows that are like, wow, I can't believe this, no one's ever done this before, this is amazing, there haven't really been shows like that, and I mean, yes, Infinity Train could become a show like that, but that has yet to be greenlit. But what happened to Cartoon Network? Why is that all of a sudden, in 40 years, they changed from being the network that wants to do something that's never been done before to the network that just wants to do what they did in the past and try to remake it and in their ideas, I guess, in their mind, make it better. But in reality, they're making it worse. So what happened to the Cartoon Network that wanted these new ideas to happen, that wanted to try something new and take some risks? Well, I'll tell you what happened. Stuart Snyder got fired and Christina Miller came on board. And she totally changed the network. She made it so that there's not variety with the network. There's not these new ideas happening. It's just rehashes of some old things that worked in the past. But she totally has ruined them to make them something that they're not. Like, say, for the Ben 10 reboot, right? It's mainly a comedy now. The show used to be mainly an action show, and she turned it into purely a comedy. I mean, yes, there are some action aspects in the Ben 10 reboot, but you cannot tell me, you cannot tell me that the Ben 10 reboot has as much action as the original had. There is no way that is even close to being true. Same goes for the Powerpuff Girls reboot, same goes to Teen Titans Go, obviously, because those shows are drastically different from the originals. So why has she ruined the network? Why has she decided to, you know, not go for these new ideas, not go for these cool things that have never been done before? Why has she decided to 
just rehash old ideas to try to make them better but in reality like I said before she's making them worse why is this the case and honestly I really don't know because if you don't have variety on your network no one's gonna want to watch your network everyone's gonna be like oh look at Disney over there they have an action adventure show they have a mystery show they have all this other stuff that seems pretty cool then like oh look at Nick they have this that and the other thing like and then oh let me see Cartoon Network um why does every show have the same art style why are they all comedies too that's like I don't really want to see that you know if I want to see comedy I'm gonna go watch Comedy Central I don't want to watch Cartoon Network but I mean I don't really want to make this video into a Bash and Christina Miller video because there are plenty of those out there I've made one before I'm just want to you know look at what I find really interesting is how in four years so much has changed at the network so much of their ideals of their views of their you know thought process has just ch drastically changed it's not like these are little changes these are drastic changes and I just find it very interesting that all of this has happened and obviously the real reason why it's happened is because Christina Miller was hired I'm sure there are also new executives at the network too that have changed these things I'm sure there's a lot of different factors but the main factor that most of us will be paying attention to is that Christina Miller has changed the network and if you look at the time period, she became the president of Cartoon Network in 2014, and this video was made in 2013, and since then the network has only gotten worse, not better. Anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.